I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> Victory lap. All right, guys, welcome back from that drive test. Hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of drive footage. And let's go ahead and talk about this. This is an LRP 110 scale four wheel drive buggy. And I got this a couple weeks ago. I've been driving it quite some time, quite a few batteries. And I've actually had a really good time with this one. Um, and I also found out that you can get parts for this one online if you're looking for parts or you need parts. And I actually did break one part on this car. I'm going to tell you about that coming up in the review. But first, let's go ahead and get started with talking about some of the features of this one, some of the specs, um, some of the good stuff. We'll talk about the pros and the cons on this car, um, how durable it was in my testing. It still runs even after all the bashing that I did with it, which is kind of crazy. Um, you saw some of the footage where we just jumped it off this house foundation up on stilts. Uh, probably took like a 15 foot drop right straight onto the bottom. And everything here still looks like it's in pretty good condition. There is some scratches on the bottom of the skid plate, but there's no cracks, absolutely no cracks in the bottom of the landing, uh, this, uh, the skid plate up front and on the back, all the way down here, no dents in the motor down bottom from any rocks that I crashed into. And the battery is still intact, which is kind of crazy. So um, it's pretty durable so far, but let's go ahead and pop the top on it and I'll show you some of the internal features of the chassis. And one little side note, I'm just gonna show you this. There is a crack in the canopy right here. So uh, just keep that in mind that this canopy probably needs to have some type of, you can take black Gorilla Tape and line the whole inside of this and it'll make it a lot more durable and not likely as to get many cracks like I did here. But in all my bashing, I only got two cracks on the entire canopy. So that's, that's not too bad. Now it is sporting a brushless motor and that's a 3650 brushless motor, 3300 kV and uh, it's pretty nice and powerful enough to probably get you up to about 36 miles an hour with this particular RC buggy. But um, I feel like it could be a little bit faster. It's not quite as fast as what I'm used to with larger scale buggies and, and truggies. Uh, but for this scale and under $200, the speed was pretty good and going uphill didn't seem to be a problem for it. So, and also they say we have a 45 amp splash proof ESC and I would say it's probably splash proof mainly because you do have some exposed wires on the bottom down here. I just popped it off the frame so you guys could see this right here. You could possibly have some things short out if you were to get it in any kind of mud, uh, possibly into a mud puddle, but I don't know if I would totally trust this ESC. It's, I don't wouldn't say it's totally sealed up, um, but it, it might survive um, some wet, uh, damp conditions. I don't know about straight into the water. I'm not sure if I would totally trust that, but it does have a cooling fan on top and really nice uh, heat sink coils coming off the top of it. So 
Pretty nice looking ESC on the bottom of this chassis. The tires feel pretty good and the rims survived. Nothing popped off. I didn't have any bolts pop off the tire during my review. And the tires are still actually still have a lot of this little knobby tread right on top of them. So that's pretty cool too, that the tread survived a lot of what I was doing to it on the road test and on the uh, off-road tests. So some of these RC cars that I've gotten before have had tire blowouts, um, particularly when I go up to three and four S on things, five and six S, sometimes you have a blowout, but you're not gonna really run this one on any other battery than maybe the stock battery that comes with it. And speaking of the stock battery, it comes with a charger in the box, which is cool because you have a 2S 2400 here. It's 25C and it takes probably about two hours to charge. Now, when you plug this in and put this rail back over top of the battery, you're gonna want to take this little tiny plug right here out of right here because it's gonna smash it and you can damage this battery, this balance cable if you do that. So uh, one thing to watch out for while you're turning this car on. And also for you guys that are paying attention, I noticed that it was branded ZD Racing, but I'm pretty sure that this entire car is made by LRP because everything on here, including the front bumper, they have a bunch of logos on here that say LRP right on there. So blue is better is their slogan for that RC Cars series. Um, you can even see it on the side right here as well. Blue is better, LRP. Now it does have a 3.5 kilogram servo in the front and I'm pretty sure that it's a digital metal servo because I was pretty kind of concerned with this that maybe this would break. Uh, maybe it had some plastic gears inside the front. When I was taking some of those big jumps and really hitting the front end, I was worried that I was gonna break something in here and nothing in here on the drive mechanism for steering mechanism in the front broke. So all of this is still working really, really nice. Now, during my speed test, on the very last speed test across this parking lot, I was trying to hold the camera and film this at the same time for you guys. And it actually drove straight into a curb. And one thing you might want to look at is this bone that goes right across here that connects both of these tires. So you have a connection here on this side and you have a connection here. That middle piece broke for me and I was able to fix it, but you could probably order another part for that for probably a couple dollars uh, if one broke on you, but you'd have to be going full speed and into a curb for that to break. So uh, maybe one con of this design, but any RC car that takes a full frontal crash into a concrete curb, it's pretty much like hitting a brick wall. So uh, again, I can't take too much points off for that, but um, I did break one part on this entire car and it wasn't from jumping it from the house, which is kind of crazy. And that one tenth scale is not as big as a lot of the other RC cars and trucks out there, but it's kind of a nice scale for like anyone younger. If you want to have like your son or daughter driving this thing, it's not a real intimidating car, uh, mainly because it doesn't really get over 36 miles an hour. It is pretty fast for someone who's um, maybe under 10 years old, but um, just about anybody at any age can handle this car. It's um, slow enough that you can actually, on the transmitter itself, you can turn back the steering throttle and make it go slower for younger people, which is also pretty cool. And on the very top of the chassis, this is where your receiver's mounted. You have this antenna comes up through the top of it, uh, through the top of the car body right here. But this looks fairly waterproofed. It has a rubber seal all the way around the inside of it. So it's gonna keep this receiver nice and tucked in, pretty tight and safe from moisture. I think I was probably getting close to um, maybe 300 feet away with this receiver before I was losing my uh, radio control on the car. So pretty decent range on this car too. And for those of you that might have been wondering, the drive shaft on here is a plastic to metal connection. You can see right here is aluminum drive shaft that goes all the way through to the rear tires back there from the front. So it's uh, a pretty lightweight drive shaft and it looks fairly durable. In all my testing, I have no problems with the drive shaft or any of that drive mechanism breaking during uh, the super hard landings that I had uh, from jumping off the house. But that about sums it up for this car. Ever since it first came in, I couldn't wait to get it out of the box. I really like the way it looks. I think it looks super cool. It is a pretty low profile car, so I was kind of interested to see how it would do on the speed test. It looked like it would really move out on the concrete and it seems to perform pretty well out on the, uh, the uh, off-road test. We have some pretty rough stuff around here to test it on. So um, out at the uh, Frisbee disc golf course where we were the other day, 
it was it was taking some real hard hits so i would say like five stars for durability maybe four stars for drivability I, I think the driving could be a little bit better but it is again it is a smaller car and it's not a super big and super powerful motor on there uh, and the powerful drive system so kind of ex what you'd expect out of a 110 scale rc truck but i, I really like the fact that um, this one held up as well as it did because i was expecting the whole thing to fail the first jump i was really kind of nervous about jumping it off the first low jump and then when i went to the big jump that's where i really thought i was just going to blow all of this out right here and all of it held up pretty well so i, I just that's unbelievable to me that everything is still there and still works um, kind of crazy for under $200 but you get a 2.4 transmitter along with it takes four AA batteries and it has all the steering controls that you'd need for um, your throttle trim and your steering trim there and also a bind button on there which is pretty sweet as well uh, forward and reverse for your steering and your throttle don't reverse your throttle never a good idea uh, but anyway guys thanks again for watching this review this has been the uh, LRP Blue is better, one-tenth scale, four-wheel drive, buggy. Pretty sweet ride. So anyway, guys, you can check that out in the link below if you'd like to grab one. I think you might be able to use the coupon RC18OFF. And thanks again for watching the Drone Camps channel, you guys. I'm Justin Davis. Have a great week. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.